everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about some of the products that I'm super excited to pull out and start using for the fall time. And some of these products have been some of my favorite products for a while now. And maybe it's just a specific shade that I'm excited to use for fall time. And some of these products are also more new and give me fall vibes. So I'm just excited to pull them out and get some more use out of them during the fall season. So the first product is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Now, usually I feel like when people think of fall, they go for more of a matte skin look. And during the summer is when everyone pulls out all their dewy products. But I feel like that doesn't really make sense. Like it should be the opposite because in the summer, my skin is a lot more oily than normal obviously because it's a lot more hot and in the fall season it starts to get really cool and dry so my skin gets a lot more dry in the fall so I feel like it makes a lot more sense to use more hydrating products in the fall than it does like in the summer because in the summer you want to control your oils whereas in the fall you might need a little bit more of that hydration so that is why I chose to pull this out and this is just a really beautiful foundation and it has that nice light to medium coverage for like a tinted moisturizer it actually has a pretty good coverage and i do really like that it has hyaluronic acid in here so it's giving you that skincare as well the next product is a highlighter from laura geller this is in the shade gilded honey and this used to be talked and raved about way back in the day on youtube but I did get this not too long ago. I got it earlier this year. But this is just the most beautiful, like perfect gold highlight. So I feel like in the fall, a beautiful gold highlight is just a staple. And the next product is a blush that I just got. This is the newest product in my collection. It's in the shade Mood Exposure and it's just the most beautiful neutral blush and really you could wear this all year round because it's just the perfect everyday blush but it does have a little bit more of that cool berry tone to it so I feel like this is really pretty to pull out during the fall and again this is brand new to my collection so I'm just excited to pull it out and get some use out of it in general and just a couple months ago I got my first hourglass blush so I do have two of their blushes and I also got one of their bronzers that I bought in a little duo with this off of Mercari so I definitely didn't buy these at full price because they're super expensive but I think this formula is just so beautiful like it looks incredible on the skin and I hate to say it but I really do think these are worth the hype and I'm really excited to get more use out of them I definitely wouldn't pay a full price for any of these this is the mini size and the mini size is $24 and it's literally the tiniest little pan like it's big enough to fit your brush in but like just barely big enough so that your brush fits in it so I feel like these are worth the hype but even then I still wouldn't pay the full price for it. I'd rather just get it cheaper off of like Mercari or Poshmark because you can definitely find these even brand new. I got all of mine brand new and it was for a super discounted price like more than 50% off. I also pulled out one of my liquid blushes. This is the Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. So technically you can also use this on your lips or your eyes, but I pretty much only use it as a blush. And I think it's just the most beautiful blush. It gives like that nice, almost bitten look to the cheeks. You know how when you go out in the winter and it's super cold and your cheeks kind of get that rosy color? I feel like this is the perfect color to get that look and in the fall time when it starts to get a little bit colder, I feel like that just looks super cute on the cheeks. So I'm really excited to pull this out and use it a lot more and especially with cream products, like I said, my skin starts to get a little bit more dry. So I like to use more cream products in the fall. And right now I'm just super into cream products so I'm excited to get more use out of this and this is also pretty new to my collection. And then the next one is actually a face palette that I pulled out but specifically one shade in here. These are all of my ColourPop. These are all ColourPop products so I have four little eyeshadows and this ended up shattering so I kind of want to put this in a project pan just to finish off that little bit but anyways specifically this shade this orange shade right here it's in the shade so retrograde and it's a ColourPop blush it came out with the Kathleen Lights collection so it's one of their collaborations 
and this is just a really pretty more glowy blush and honestly I don't think I have used this on my cheeks once but I feel like it's a really pretty orange warm tone for the fall time so I'm super excited to get some use out of this and even all of the colors in here these more warm blushes are also really pretty for the fall time and these shadows could create a really pretty fall look as well now we're getting into some lip products so the first one i pulled out is the milani color statement lip liner this is in the shade spice and i feel like this is just that perfect warm toned lip liner and in the fall i do think of more warm tones and all of those fall kinds of colors like reds and oranges and I think this is just the perfect warm tone reddish lip liner and it's still nice and neutral and natural for every day but it's definitely a lot warmer than a lot of my other lip liners and then I also chose my little mini size of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Chai and this is a little bit of a deeper tone. It's like a deeper berry red tone. So this is just a little bit deeper than like my natural nude everyday color. So I feel like on the lips, especially during the fall, those deeper tones are so beautiful. So I also pulled out some of my favorite liquid lipsticks in shades that I thought would be so beautiful for fall. So these are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. And one of these is just a really nude color. This is in the shade Canes. And it's just a really beautiful warm toned pink shade. So obviously this is just like a perfect warm pinky nude. And then the next couple shades are a little bit darker. So this one is in the shade Rome. And it's a little bit darker, but it's more on the cool tone side than the other nude. So I like that deeper shade and it's a little bit more cool toned. And then the last fun color that I chose is in the shade Prague. And this is just a really beautiful berry tone. And I feel like berry tones are super pretty in the fall. And really, I don't think I've ever worn this on my lips. So I'm super excited to get some use out of it. And I feel like these are just the perfect shades for fall. You have a nice nude, warm nude shade, and then a little bit of a deeper nude shade, and then a nice fun bright color so I'm super excited to get some use out of these and I really love this formula it's super comfortable on the lips it's not drying at all and I feel like these are also really easy to apply because you can sheer them out a little bit if you don't want that intense color and want something a little bit more wearable but you can also build it up to be an intense bold lip so now for the most exciting part I feel like is the eye products so first I pulled out this eyeliner from appeal this is their gel liner and it's in the shade forest green so it's just a really beautiful deep green shade and i did create a look with this it was like a really smoky wing look so i will pop it up on the screen right here if i can find that photo but I do really enjoy using this and I feel like it's the perfect color for fall. I paired it with some really pretty more warm orangey tones and I really love the way that look turned out. And I feel like this is a bit more fun than just using like a black or a brown, but it's still like natural and you can definitely pull it off for like every day because I feel like green is like a colorful color that's more wearable, which is kind of weird because I wouldn't think that with the color green, but I am really excited to get more use out of this and I really love the formula of this. You can't put it on your waterline because it does transfer, but I think it is the most beautiful liner to put on your lash line and then smudge out as like a smoky liner because it does smudge really easily, but then it also sets down. Once it sets down, it's like set. So I feel like it's really easy to apply and it's really soft and creamy as well. I also chose a couple liquid eyeshadows. So the first one is from Essence and it's the Metal Shock Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Solar Explosion and this is a really pretty gold shade. I will swatch it for you guys. But these Essence liquid shadows are so beautiful. They're probably one of my favorite like liquid shadow formulas in my collection. So you see it, it's right there. And they are super glittery and that's what I love about these liquid shadows. But I looked on the Essence website the other day because I wanted to pick up more shades or see what other shades they had. 
and I couldn't find them so these may be discontinued so I don't think these are available anymore which is really sad because this is a beautiful formula but the other liquid shadow I chose is a Stila Glitter and Glow. This is in the shade Painted Lady. And I believe this is in my Shop My Stash, I think. And this is just a really beautiful, more duochrome. It definitely has some duochrome in there, but it's also really glittery. It's right there if you guys can see that. But it has like this pink gold greenish shift. Like I don't even know how to describe it but it is the most beautiful shade, especially all over the lid. I used this the other day and it was so amazing on my eyelids. I literally just popped a color in the crease and then I put this all over my eyelids and it was a really beautiful look. So I am really excited to get more use out of this, especially this like gold, bronzy, pinkish, warm red tone <laughs> color. I don't even know how to describe this, but it is so beautiful. And then the last little single shadow that I chose is from ColourPop. This is their Super Super Oh my god. This is their Super Shock shadow in the shade Sequin and it's just a really pretty warm tone shade and I feel like this would be the most beautiful shade to put all over your lid as like a one and done color. You could put it all over your lid and then you can blend it into your crease as like a one shadow look and I feel like that would be really beautiful and it's just the most perfect really warm red tone for the fall season so I'm super excited to get some use out of this and my super shock shadows are kind of starting to dry out so I want to start using them a lot more and use them up I mean I feel like I will never use up a super shock shadow but yeah I need to start getting more use out of them and then I also chose a few eyeshadow palettes. I couldn't help myself. I did only want to choose like one, but I have three here. So the first one is the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. And this is just like the perfect warm tone palette. I feel like this is the perfect everyday fall eyeshadow palette because you have all these beautiful warm tones. And I mean, look at that. Does that not scream fall to you? I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory as to why I chose this, but I feel like this will be really fun to get some use out of in the fall season. And honestly, I haven't really used this very much, so I definitely need to use this some more because it is really beautiful. And then another eyeshadow palette that I chose out is one of the newest products to my collection and the newest eyeshadow palette in my collection. This is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette and I did just get this in the mail the other day. So I'm super excited to use it some more and it has some really pretty warm tones like this red shade I'm super excited to use but it also has like more of these berry tones and it is a warm neutral palette so I'm super excited to get some use out of this during the fall time and I think it is just the most beautiful palette and I haven't even tried this out yet so I'm super excited to pull it out for the fall time how many times am I going to say super excited <laughs> so the last palette I chose and these are all kind of neutral palettes I didn't really pull any fun colorful palettes but this is the Nubian from Juvia's Place and again this is a pretty warm palette but it also has more of those deeper tones. I feel like this would be the perfect nude everyday eyeshadow palette for deep skin tones but when I use this as you can see there's not really any really light transition shades for my skin so when I use this I always end up with like a bit more of a deeper look but that is why I chose this for the fall time because when I think of the fall I think of more deeper tones and rich and intense pigment so I feel like I could get some really pretty fall looks out of this and again it is really just a neutral warm palette but the fall time I feel like is for warm tones even though everyone wears warm tones all year round but I just really love this palette and how deep and rich it is for the fall time. So that is it for all of the products that I'm so excited to pull out and use for the fall time. And obviously you can use any of these products all year round, but let me know down below in the comments what some of your favorite fall products are. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I do post new videos three to four times a week. So if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.